fail, dude. Fuck. How long does this take? Uh, since you look, I look down. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Oh, gosh, man, that's some dope stuff. I just saw something out that I'm very much interested in here. Oh, yes. This one feels blue. For the blue. Wow. I'm really loving this. Oh, wow. So these two go together. Yeah. Jeez, I wonder how she's going to... And it's going to be such a huge contrast compared to the background. Amazing. Well done, man. Let me let me go get her. I think she's there. That side somewhere. Okay. 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 You guys are my people. Sorry, I know I look ridiculous, but can we just... Yes. How are you guys doing? Aren't you cold? Nah, nah, I'm a... I'm a... Hi, I'm a... How are you doing? Good. Weird, huh? Yes. Fine. I actually have your number. <laughs> That's what I said to her. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> okay, guys, I just want to break down what's going to be happening today based on the fact that um, we're all here now and uh, the designer's up there and we're bringing other stuff down now. So... The locations that I'm specifically interested in, there too, right? There is a tree that's dead that side. I want to work on that. And I also just want to work on some grass shots here. But there's another one at the entrance, at the top there. You know? Uh, it's like a tree, but there's like this beautiful flat grass behind it. So I love the, the idea of just being by the tree and then we just have things there. But obviously we're going to look at the reference here. And then there's obviously the waterfall situation there. We finally made it to set. This is the location. We're gonna, start, we're gonna be starting with the first look now with Tuso. And I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm a bit worried because this wind here is an issue. And I would love to see, um, I'd love it, I'd love for it not to disturb anything, you know? Especially with the dust and the cold and all these different things. But let's just see how it goes. The idea is this, right? She's gonna be standing over here. I'm shooting from over here. I'm gonna be using a really long lens. And then, I'm gonna be at a very low angle so that I get as much of the waterfall and of her as possible. So let me see if I can't actually jump in there and get to the location oh my, oh quickly my, oh my. and see exactly how it looks. So she's basically going to be right over here. That's where she's going to be standing. That's, that's going to be the backdrop. And ultimately, I'm predicting a very beautiful shot. I'm trying to capture the light. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm trying to capture the way the light is hitting the rainbow and her. So my assistant Karabo is going to be somewhere down here with the reflector. I wonder how it's going to look. I've got a specific image in my mind. Hopefully I'll be able to pull it off. So, I wanted to make Tuso look like a queen. Like a newly crowned queen overlooking her kingdom and ready to reign with humility, strength, beauty and kindness unlike any other before her. This was the seed I implanted in her mind and asked her to attach her persona to this character for the shoot. The direction I gave her for this first look in this first location was crucial to achieving the idea of making her feel and not just look like this newly crowned queen. Besides the grandeur of the dress and headpiece by Bayanda, the location itself added so much more energy and tangibility to this idea. And this image in my mind of this African queen who towers above everything. So that's the little context I have for you. And I need you to leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know if you personally believe if this idea I had came to life in these images. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and follow too. Depending on wherever you are watching this.
And that was the first look done, now we're moving on to the second look. I took a lot of time on this one, honestly speaking, simply because I feel that this is the like, the location in this area. It really brings out so many different elements and it also brings out her in a very spe spectacular way. Spectacular, beautiful, amazing. Choose whichever one works for you. And what I'm thinking is, I want to do a couple of shots of you literally li uh, lying on it, sprawl sprawled up on it, you know? And also do some portraits with you, just kind of like looking up, you know, looking more into the distance. And also, you in between it as well. Understand? So for example, if we could get you walking, or standing rather, somewhere inside here, or that other side depending, right? And then we do a couple of shots of you maybe even sitting over here, and then the, the tree itself is the background, you know what I mean? That's gonna be dope, so, yeah. Cause there's just something about it that just kind of works for me, you know? It has such a beautiful texture.